Hey guys, this is Heidi from Boba's Mama. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing our homeschool picks, curriculum picks for the new school year of 2018, 2019. I did a live on Instagram and I had so much fun unboxing this and a few mamas joined me. It was so awesome. And I didn't get to save the video. It just it wasn't working. I, I don't know what happened, but so I'm doing a new video for you guys and I'm just gonna show you what we picked for this upcoming school year. So here we go. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a homeschool mom of three boys. I'm gonna homeschool this coming year a three-year-old, so we're doing top schooling. Then I'm also doing a first grader and a fourth grader. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing for my three-year-old first. I'm gonna keep it very simple, very fun, fun activities. I'm still planning a lot of his um, activities, but what I did was I ordered these books, the Kuman books. I love the Kuman books, they're super simple. So I'm doing uh, the first book of cutting. I always teach them cutting skills at three years old. I think they're a lot um, much capable of handling it then. So we're doing the book of cutting and we're gonna learn how to cut. And we're also gonna learn how to trace. We're gonna be doing dot to dot and um, fine motor skills. All about the fine motor skills for three year olds. Uh, fun activities and then I might target some letters here and there. He already knows his numbers, his colors, his um, shapes and he knows numbers up to 10, so now we just have to work on some letters, but I'm gonna take it little by little and just focus on motor skills for his three-year-old uh, age. So that's what I have right now. I was looking into ordering an Abeka curriculum, but I thought that I can kind of put that together myself. I didn't have to order a curriculum, so I'm gonna leave that as that. Um, like I said, I'm still setting up a lot of his um, activities and like uh, how this day is gonna go with us so that will be another video okay so on to my first grader now if you have been following for a while you know that we tried doing horizons kindergarten for this year and it was just too advanced for him so I'm gonna do it for next year we're gonna do horizons kindergarten for um, his language arts curriculum and I think horizons is a very advanced as it is so I think it will be a great fit for us and he will fit in right into his second grade when we get there I think that will be a perfect fit and then also um, for his math, we're going to continu continue doing Horizons. I love Horizons math. It's a spiral approach. It's very simple. It's one page a day and it's colorful. So we love it. He loves it. He gets all the concepts. So I ordered him level one workbooks because I have the teacher manual. My son JL, when he was in first grade, did the box curriculum for Horizons. So I have all that already. So we're going to continue math Horizons. And this year we did the handwriting without tears uh, for kindergarten and he loved it, I loved it. So we're gonna continue that for first grade. And this is called my printing book. So we're learning uh, words and so forth this year and blending and how to learn how to read. So that's what I'm focusing with Jonah right now. I only use the workbook and the teacher's manual. Um, actually my friend Tanya from Project Happy Home. Hi Tanya. Send me the correct the um, teacher manual. And for learning how to read, we are going to tackle this book here, Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. This was um, given to me last year, and I'm excited to start it this year with him. And it's really easy, just five minutes a day. I've heard wonders about the book, so I cannot wait. Um, I'm going to share with you the Bible time, history, and science all together at the end because we're going to put those classes together for fourth and first grade. Um, so for geography, we are doing maps, graphs, and maps, charts, and graphs. I always want to say it backwards. And he's doing book A, which is the places around me, and book B, which is neighborhoods. I love these books. They're so easy and simple and just straight to the point. So that's what attracted me to them. Super colorful, and um, he gets to do two pages a day. But super simple and it gets them um, their feet wet on geography and it's very thorough so I really like that and then I think there's like a levels up to G and I think further than that so I'm excited about that for his art we are gonna do we have been doing draw right now curriculum I love that curriculum I did it for jail first and second grade or for second grade I believe um, it was given to me as a hand-me-down and I fell in love with it so we have I had it ordered book one which Jonah's doing now, JL's doing book two, and I ordered book three. Um, so this, so you, you can just see what it looks like. This is a draw right now curriculum, and it's basically teaching them how to draw. And then you get to write, so they practice writing too, so which is like, it's like two and one. Um, and then there's a little question here, and then you have the answers in the middle of the book. 
um, and it talks about the so it's basically a theme so for this one which is number three is Native Americans North Americans and the pilgrims so they all buy themes and then you get to kind of study that uh, subject a little bit more with the questions and so forth I love this love this curriculum he's doing book one like I said and then I also want to say that we might be joining an art and music program so which, which is why I have a very simple art right now I look I like to do hands-on more painting like watercolors and all that I like to do that too but if we join this co-op, I don't have to buy anything. It all comes with the co-op. So we're just debating. That's all on hold right now to see if it's something that will be a good fit for us. Okay, so now moving to JL. He is going to fourth grade. Um, so JL is going to do for language arts. We're going to do learning language arts through literature. And this is the orange book. Um, he did the yellow book this year, which was a third grade. And I contacted the company, and they were so sweet to agree and send me this uh, for free for uh, a review of my channel. So you guys will be hearing about this throughout next year. I actually did a review on the yellow book and I included this one in that review too as well. So if you wanna see what it comes with, please um, check out the book down below, the link down below in my description box to see the review and to also check this one out. For his math, we are gonna continue and I'm forming a little mess over here already. We're gonna continue doing the Life of Fred. We love this curriculum so much. It's an elementary, um, we're doing the elementary book series and it's about 10 books in there. So we already finished three books this year. We're hoping to do three more books. Here. So I ordered um, Dogs, Farming, and Edgewood. And those are the three that we're gonna focus on this year. And there is some um, math that he has to write down on these books, very little. So what I do is for supplement and just for, for him to continue to practice and do math facts, we like to do a Smart Alex series. So I ordered, um, I actually bought the math word problems for him for fourth grade and math computation. And for this one, he there's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, and decimals. So he'll be learning that this coming year. And then for the word problems is provides grades level word problems, teaches a variety of word problem strategies, builds math confidence, and provides problem solving steps. So those are the things that we're going to focus for his math this year. I want to do um, also the maps, graphs, math charts and graphs, and he's going to be doing book C, communities, and book D, states and regions. So these are the ones that we're going to be doing for, for um, his geography and i love these books i talked about that already so it's he does two pages a day and it's going to be talking about in this particular book there's um what is a highway map borders and boundaries lands and water um circle graphs and so forth so he's going to be learning a lot on that and then for states and regions you have color um lap, land and waters highlands and lowlands using a highway map reading a state map tracing a route and so forth so I love it. So they're super, super simple to do and very thorough. So now to talk about the um, integrated subjects. So we do history, science, and health together. Um, and that's what we did this year. I just changed the history for Jonah because it was just kind of way over his head this year. So, but we just, we kept the science together and the health together. So we're doing now for history, the uh, Good and the Beautiful year one course book. And I have, oh, <laughs> I have the, this is the history stories book, the history stories book. And then this is the teacher guide for year one. And then it comes with a game, the keys of history, and it comes with a PDF uh, for his uh, activities. So I love this so far. I've heard great things about this curriculum, um, especially that um, because the activities target their age range, it's going to be perfect. So we're doing that for history, and then for um, Bible time, we're going to be doing devotionals. I have a video on how we do our Bible time in our homeschool, so I'm going to link it down below as well. This is uh, the indescribable 100 devotionals about God and science by Louis Giglio. And I first heard about this at Lindsay's channel from Mama Schmooze Homeschool Reviews. And uh, she had a, a curriculum review about this, and she loves it. A book review basically um so we love devotionals i think this is going to be a great fit we already did one the kids really liked it so i cannot wait we're also going to continue doing the one that we're doing this year which is the radical book for kids um and that's for ages eight and up but i do kind of um make it fit for jonah who's my younger and it's been working really well and the boys like like it a lot and then for science we're doing the good and the beautiful we're going to be doing um 
kingdoms and classifications and I picked this one because this year we did cover some uh, kingdoms, kingdoms and classifications the kids enjoy the classes that came with our science book this year and so I thought it would be great to do a further book study or unit study um, on the topic and this is for grades K and 6 so I kind of already started putting it together I bound it up I binded it up <laughs> and then I also cut and paste already all the activities that comes with it so I have like a little container right now everything is flying over there so I love it. I love that it's going to be a science wall. I told you all about that and he thought it was going to be awesome to have a science wall. Once we're done with that one, we'll jump into the water one. And this is water and our world because the boys really wanted to do this one. And I thought it was a great fit. I already started putting it all together and I have it also in another container. So this is a great fit too for grades K and 6. And we're excited to do that. Another study unit. Unit study. And then for our health class, we're going to be doing the safety one from the good and the beautiful. And this is also for grades K and 6. And in this one, we're going to talk about um, fire safety, water and electricity, earthquakes and natural disasters. God gave me my body. Home alone. So that's it, you guys. That is our curriculum picks for this upcoming school year. I'm excited. Um, I did a lot of research, as you guys, mamas, know how this works and the research. So um, I'm excited to see if, um, this um, co-op is a good fit for us and if not then we'll take a break from co-ops and that is perfectly fine so I'll do something else for um, their art but that's pretty much it you guys I might add some things here and there I usually do this um, just because I want to fill in the gaps if I put the like the um, when I do the schedule for our um, school year I kind of get to see if there's gonna be gaps in between what am I missing Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing so you can keep in contact with us and you get to see how it's going for us next year. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.